Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Now this week the show is slightly different because my guest is not live with me but we did pre-record the interview um, so I could play it today. Now this should be interesting because I'm going to try and share a screen so bear with me if this doesn't actually work and if you don't actually um, see anything then, then please let me know when I actually uh, do manage to, um, to, sh to share the screen. And I'm just checking that I'm going to try and see it on Facebook to see how it goes. Yeah. So that's going, I do believe. So I'm now going to try and um, share the screen. So this is an interview um, that I did with Diana Zorn. It was scheduled for last weekend, but due to various um, technical difficulties and time differences, it didn't take place. So we managed to record it um, yesterday so that we can broadcast it today. So if you bear with me, I will try and get the, um, the interview up now. Um, if you do have any comments or questions, then please do put them on there. I will be watching um, to see any comments. And at the end of the um, interview, we'll be coming back to this screen. So I'll be able to chat to you. So bear with me for one second and let's see if we can get this working and enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This May Ask? So I tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to help establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the carvings they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Diana Zorn. But before that, I would like to say thank you for watching the show now or at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform the present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading, with the wisdom of my wonderful guest, like today's guest, Diana Zorn, who will be imparting her wisdom about victimization and how you can heal from it. Diana is the host of that spiritual series, a content creator, visionary and dreamer. Diana Zorn's mission is to spread the message of unity and love, create awareness and dissolute the illusion of separation. A message, we are all one. Diana's purpose became clear after embarking on an adventure in the Amazon jungle that forever changed her life. Her show is very enlightening with wonderful guests that uplift and give you insights into your spirituality. So without further ado, hello Diana and welcome to Dangerous and Destiny show. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was like, oh, that, that, that felt really good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. How, how are you? Yep, I'm very well. And thank you for being a guest, uh, guest on my show. So before we start to get into this fascinating conversation, then whether you're watching now or this recording, please hit the like or love button, as it's really nice to see that you, you've watched and you liked around the show. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so that you can get updates on all recordings. Now, you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Diana and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. Now, although we can't reply direct, I will be watching this with you. So we'll forward any questions to Diana and reply to them on this post as well as saying hello to you. So, Diana, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then about victim mentality and is it me? Okay, well, let's uh, well, a little bit about myself. Let me see what I can tell you. Uh, well, I I think I feel compelled to talk about victimization because I've been a victim myself, and it's not easy to identify. It. Um, I had a, a traumatic, you know, and and uh, childhood, and you know, all turmoil and all those things. And then I was uh, very depressed. I had like suicidal thoughts. And then, you know, it was like all dark, all drama, all 
things happening to me right in in that moment and it was um i was in a very abusive relationship and it was both you know i was very abusive my partner was abusive as well and i was to the point where i couldn't take my depression anymore and i went to peru to a retreat that i i say it saved my life um it was an ayahuasca retreat and mm. that really shifted my life. I left my perfect white picket fence life behind and went into an adventure, you know, that and that started my spiritual path that, you, you know, like a lot of people think that you're going to be like in rainbows and levitating, but it <laughs> can be quite the opposite. It can be kind of messy at mm -hmm. times. Um, yeah, and from there, you know, I've been learning a lot. I've been reading a lot. I've been meeting a lot of people in this that are on the same path. And, and you know, so it, it was like what we were saying earlier. It leads me to people every time that it's taking me like a step further to whatever is that this journey is going. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, yeah, and it makes sense as we were saying. You kind of like meet the right people the situations um come along when when it's the right time for, for you to to actually do it so how did you end up going to peru what, what made you decide to go there uh well it was the my I, I was so miserable with my life because i had a life that i thought i wanted you know having the husband being supported being a mom you know being like the soccer mom that people says and it was, you know, because that's what society uh, was expecting me. And that's what I was conditioned to believe that that's what I was supposed to do. And that was killing me. It was literally killing me from the inside out. You know, I was, I was dying. My soul was dying and it was not there. So it was, it was like a call of attention now. When I say this, it's like in the moment, yeah, it felt awful, but it was really all those things. And that's one of the things that when when we go back and forth with the victim role and the victim mentality or the victim complex, um, is that sometimes you don't realize that those things that sometimes uh, take us to be a victim are really things that are helping us to grow and they're wake up calls to really get back into your purpose and really get into alignment with your soul and with your spirit and and really fulfill what what is that you came here to do in this life yeah yeah it, 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 it's 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 amazing how you know when when you when you when you put it that way you know you know as it says you know a victim is it is it me so sometimes it's like you think you're a victim but you're not really a victim it's just that you need to do a different path the journey yeah yes and the the big actually being a victim it's important it it's helpful because usually the victimization comes from childhood. So we acquire it as a survival mechanism, you know, as a coping mechanism. Sometimes it's also because we see others in our family doing it. So we think that's the normal. So as kids, we, we're not aware that that's what we're doing. It's just being basically like uploaded into our system and we don't realize that that's what we're doing so if we think that's normal then we never see it as oh maybe i need to do something about it um so really it, it's necessary but then there's a point right where you are an adult and then that's when it doesn't serve you anymore and a lot of us stay there until you know something happens that makes us want to search a different path or that or we get like the the feeling the sense that it's not serving us and there's something we all do have like like a sense like a little boy like something that's telling us that something needs to change 
in our lives but we keep going and going and we ignore it and we put it to the side and until something happens that we really need to look into it yeah so i mean do, i mean how i mean i mean for me for your your personal thing how bad had it got that 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 you went off to peru we all do have Pardon? like um, sort of like we like were um, said, looking like at your boy, uh, like uh, your, your um, experience. How bad had it got um, you feeling a victim before you went to Peru? Well, all I think I, I was a victim my whole life. You know, I, again, it never. I, I don't think it, it, it. I don't want to say never, but it it's there with you. It's part of you, and even now, you know, I have to be very aware of not falling back into that because it's so easy, it's so tricky, it's so, uh, yeah, it's sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think it is. And, you know, and even the most strongest women in the world, you know, at some point will fall into that their own victimization um, slot because that's just the way I think just we live in this society today is um you know but have you found that since you've been on your spiritual path you're kind of like less accept success 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 okay, i can't even say the word susceptible, <laughs> susceptible to it yeah yes definitely but it, it's the awareness i think that makes you less susceptible but still you know i i sometimes i still caught myself like oh crap you know <laughs> I, I, oops I did it again, right? Like like the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, like the old like the old Britney song. Funny enough, there was some what was it? I was looking at something earlier and Britney Spears came up in that, so that's twice she's come up today. Who knows why? Oh um, yeah, you need to look into that. <laughs> yeah, why's Britney come up? Mm. <laughs> so going back to to where we're so I mean, obviously, not everyone is going to go off somewhere like Peru and, and that. So how can, you know, if someone recognises that they are sort of like in that uh, victim type state, how can, how, how would you suggest they get out of it or, or what can they do or how can they look at it? Well, the, I think the first thing that I will do, if you are aware, right, it's to start taking responsibility for your own life because one of the reasons that we go into victimhood is because we are afraid and we are conditioned and we don't want to take responsibility because that's one of the perks of being a victim you know we don't have to be responsible for our life we don't have to be responsible yeah. for our actions because we just can blame the dog the neighbor the car driving right next to us for our entire existence. So the the first thing is taking responsibility. And one thing it's like that it's like a like a like a tip, right? Instead of saying you, like oh you did this or you did that to me, start saying I, right? Instead of saying oh you make me angry, say oh I got angry because you said this. So that that's a really easy way. But I, what I feel is like. Uh, what I feel like is that the biggest challenge is that people that are on the on the victim, you know, mentality don't even realize that they are. So one of the things like you can that you can that can, maybe can make you aware uh, uh, if you are because maybe you don't know you are and you can't keep going on with your life, you know. But uh, some of the thing is like if if you look at your life, you know, take a deep breath and look around your life. And, and at the moment you think, who's making you unhappy? Who is not making you happy? Or who is doing something to you? And if you can come up with some, even one name, you know, you are. <laughs> uh, because, you know, that's that you're like, nobody's doing anything to you. All of those are situations. And, well, there's sometimes, you know, like people have, trauma like you know in childhood and it's valid you know some people have been abused sexually abused or physically or emotionally so yes there's nothing again there's nothing wrong with being a victim but 
there's a point where we need one needs to be aware that it's not serving anymore. Yeah, yeah, and and I, and I think you're right with 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 the you know take responsibility um, for a lot of the day to day things. Obviously, you know childhood abuse and stuff. You know it, it's not you you know you're not respons you're responsible for that responsible for that. But when you're an adult, you are more responsible for your actions and how you react to other people. Um, and and they, they often say, don't they, that if, if you're really upset and angry with someone or someone, um, you, you know, you have an argument with someone and you don't like them, look at the reason why you don't like them and ask yourself, what is it myself that I don't like? Yes. Yes, yes, that's correct. That, that's yeah, that's that's you know, that's a really way, really good way to explain. Yes. Yeah, yeah, to 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 do that. So, so you so you so you did this journey in in Peru, and then you came back. So, I take it you didn't go back to your life before you created a new life for you. Well, yeah, but it was not long. It was probably a couple of months, and. I was guided to to leave like the city I was living on at the time and just go on a road trip uh, across the United States, right? Wow. <laughs> yes. Uh, and a, a lot of things happened, but really, you know, that was two years ago and a lot have changed. And even like with the victimization I can say even six months ago I was still very very deep into the victim role and it was not it was through reading and studying a little bit more about it and being uh, connected to myself and meditating and doing all the things that people said you know <laughs> suggest or guide you to do that I started becoming uh, a little bit more aware of it or a lot, where so aware that it was impossible to not to see it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, 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 there, um, so you say up until about six months ago, um, you, you still, you still have, and, and occasionally you still have to. Um, check yourself and go. Oh, actually, I'm going into the the victim, the, the victimization yeah. um, state state here. So it's always going to be an ongoing thing. Do you think? Yeah, yes, I, I think so. And it's like everything else, you know. It's like eating healthy. You know, you're eating healthy, and one day you don't, and it's okay. You are aware that you need to eat healthy, so you just go back. Up to it, you know, it's, it's the same. You do it maybe sometimes, or you don't know where. And okay, just be kind to yourself, you know, have compassion for yourself. It's a uh, work in progress, and just go back to, to it, you know, to being to your awareness. Yeah. And do you think sometimes that um, forgiving someone or a situation can? help you um, feel less of a victim? I, I'm not sure because, uh, you know, the the whole thing of the, you know, uh, of being a victim is putting it on somebody else. And the situations, the circumstances are always going to be there. We all have trauma, and that, that's another thing of being a victim. It makes you feel special. You think you're the only one that has crap going on. You know, you think no, you know, you're you're the only one that your problems matter. And and the the truth is, we all have something going on. You know, we all do, but it's how we respond to it. And again, taking responsibility, and it, it can be something like so. Small, like you know, and the one I love is with, and the one that I, I it's probably my favorite one, and because it's the one that I discovered the most recently, it's you know about the energy. Because as spiritual beings and being spiritual power, we care about our energy, we're trying to protect, and we're so blaming others. Oh my god, that person is going in my energy, and it's gonna 
turn it into negative energy and I cannot be around that, you know, that person. That to be what, and it can be true because yeah, we can be affected by other energies. The, the it's about being responsible that you have your own energy and you always have the power to allow who goes in your energy. So that's you know that's I think that that went so subtle, so subtle that even being in, in the spiritual path can can we cannot see it, you know? And they're like, but but again, it's like. But what is that exam or a test that someone did? Like, look around and tell me all the red things that you see. And then look back and tell me how many yellow things you see. And you cannot see because once that you have the awareness, you're going to start seeing it like, oh, crap, I'm doing it here. Oh, I'm doing it here, too. I'm doing it here. So, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it, it's mind-blowing. Like, sometimes can get overwhelming, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so when it so when it gets overwhelming do you go into meditation or or you know how, how do you how do you just sort of like deal with it um well i i i meditate uh every day or most days <laughs> you know sometimes i take breaks but uh meditation really really helps and being in the present moment it, it's a big one because, uh, you know, it's another thing when we blame others for things we're looking ahead or we're looking in the past. So that, that's another <laughs> way to, to fall into that. So being present, if you're present in the moment, there's nothing, there's no one around you that is doing anything to you. There's no circumstance. There, it's only you connected to self. Yeah, and yeah, and, and that you know, and and that's quite interesting because that's obviously how I work as well. Everything that I do is for is for the present. You know, even though I I work with past life regression and I work with future life progression, the past life is to learn and heal from that past so that you're present, so that doesn't affect you anymore. And if you know your future, then you're not worried about that, so you can be fully present. So yeah, it is really about being present in the moment being in control of your destiny, of, you, of, of what's happening with, with your life, not allowing others to influence it in any way. Yeah, and, and they say, right, to, to learn uh, about the future, we need to look into our past. And, and I, I believe to be completely true. If we don't know our past and we don't know where we come from, and, you know, I'm sure with the regressions, you come, like, with past lives and mm. things that were carry you know from other realms or <laughs> other experiences and it, it is very important to do so because even you know maybe a victimization can come from from somewhere that we're not even aware mm. yeah yeah from from yeah from a childhood that we might not remember or a past life but uh you know that or also um from uh sort of like from your ancestors as well because it may be that the women if, if you were to look back at your say like your mother mm -hmm. your mother's mother your mother going all the way back and sometimes you may find that that thread the same thread of victimization that actually comes through each each female along that line until they get it gets to you and kind of like if it and if you kind of kind of like understand it work with it and stop that then you're kind of like probably stopping it for for future generations and that so it so it doesn't have to take place anymore it's it's kind of like okay that's it we females are no longer going to have this in our life yes, yes that's that's correct <laughs> yeah so, so well done you for, for working it, working it out and, and stopping, stopping your future generations, uh, you know, you know, having, having that uh, thing. I was really interested when you said you went to Peru and that, and that changed your life. My big change uh, to where I started working with angels was when I went to Peru. Oh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I didn't do, I didn't do the same. I didn't do the, um, the, the, the same as you did. Mine was just um, trekking around Peru. 
and that but, but yeah uh, Machu Picchu absolutely amazing but that completely changed my whole outlook on life as well so there must be something about Peru that's really spiritual <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I'm sure it is, you know, we, it, it, especially Machu Picchu, you know, that uh, it was built for uh, priests, you know, as a spiritual temple, if, if you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, as you know, I like doing guided meditations and angel card readings. So each week I like to ask my guests, would you like a mini guide to meditation or angel card for yourself and those watching? So, Diana, would you like a mini guide to meditation or would you like an angel card? An angel card. <laughs> Everyone always has angel yeah. cards. <laughs> okay, so let's see. As usual, I'll just uh, um, cleanse and press the cards. And again, it's the same as when I do the cards. I do the cards for what we need to know for our highest good in this present, not for what's going to happen in the future. This is all for the, for the present. So what does Diana and everybody who's watching this need to have their highest at this point in time? What does Diana and everyone who's watching this need to have their Okay, so we have got wandering path enjoy the journey <laughs> which i see even the even that car alarm is liking that one <laughs> and, uh, so so yeah so so what so what it's basically saying to to you diana and to everyone watching this although you probably already know that from seeing the card because angel cards you looking go yeah i already know that it, it is, you know, enjoy the journey you're on at the, at the moment. Don't worry about what's happened, what's going to happen. Just be fully present and just enjoy it. And don't worry about if you're not sure which direction to go. Just wander. Because by wandering, you actually enjoy what's going on around you. And that brings your focus back to what you what you need to do in the present. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, complete sense. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, I'm glad the cards work. They, they, they always, they, they always, are, um, they always work. <laughs> so, Diana, do you have any insights or thoughts there um, to leave our viewers with? Um, I just want to say that be kind, you know, to be kind to whoever is watching this, you know, be kind to yourself. This is a journey that doesn't matter where you are we are all in this together you know man woman child elder we all are in this together and that we are here to remember who we are and to lo love and create from you know our hearts yeah Oh, that's brilliant. And you're, and you're so right. We are all, you know, with your message, we are all one. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. So, so thank you, Diana. And thank you for those that are watching. And I would like to invite you to share this video, as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny, just like you. And reach that crossroads in your life. And you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path. Then I would love to be that guide for you. Reach out and connect with me so that we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute session via Skype or Messenger to find out more about each other and about how I can help you take charge of your destiny. And Diana, if people want to connect with you, um, what's the best way of doing it? Okay, well, I'm on Instagram uh, and it's Diana Swan underscore spiritual and on Facebook. Uh, Diana Sean, I have my personal page and my friend page, and on my friend page, I cannot accept everyone. But if you go to my uh, uh, my my first my fan page, you can follow me there, and you can be up to you know date with interviews that I'm having and and videos that I'm making, and just be there with the content and uplifting each other yes yeah um, and i can say i can say that you know I'm a, I'm a fan of that page and i will put all the details up so you actually go to the right page 
um, <laughs> to actually connect with Diana and to and to watch some of the interviews, which are which are really um, ins inspirational for inspirational for you. And so I will see you all next Wednesday, the 15th of May at 8 p.m., where my guest will be Caroline Carey, who you may have recently seen on Time of the Sixth Sun. The movie, um, so and she will be imparting her wisdom that she has learned from Gaia over the many years. So I'll see you all then. And Diana, thank you so much again for being on the show. It's been absolutely brilliant. And hopefully I'll get to speak to you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I hope you've all enjoyed um, enjoyed that show. Um, and hi, Rani. Thank you for for being there. Um, oh, criminal investigation. Just realised I said the share screen on them. I was uh, a bit weird. I think where's that phone call coming from? So hi, Rani. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Um, you know if you found it insightful. And hello, Debbie. Oh, now I just said hi, Denny. So that was me. So I want to go down a bit more. Gosh, it's all um, exciting doing all this stuff. So there we go. There's Debbie. So hi, Debbie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you, you enjoyed this. Um, and anyone else that watched, you know, please do uh, feel free to uh, make any comments, ask questions. Because um, although Diana's not here, uh, she will be looking back into this and I can forward any questions on on to her. So, um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, yep, yeah, Debbie, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you found it re really interesting. Um, Diana's a lovely lady and victimisation is something that we all kind of like have with, have with us. So, thank, again, thank you very much for, for watching. Um, and just said, um, anyone else, please feel free to put any comments or, or questions and we will answer them uh, for you. And as I said, next week, um, I will be interviewing Caroline Carey, which should be um, an interesting conversation as we will be talking about, I've just recently um, done that, where are we going? We will be talking about soul retrieval for the ambitious woman. So that should be very interesting. Caroline um, is a very spiritual person, uh, very earth-based. So um, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Have a wonderful week. And again, thank you so much for, for watching. Bye now. <laughs>